What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? The reason why you do not get choosing signals from women, okay? Now, if you don't know what choosing signals is, by now, it's pretty much when a chick, you know, looks at you in a flirtatious way, and she's pretty much telling you that she's interested, right? She does little things like look at you, give you a smile, maybe stand close to you, maybe start a random conversation, you know what I'm saying? To try to just spark up a conversation with you, all right? <clears throat> And here are two of my reasons why you don't get these as much as you can. Disclaimer, just because you follow these two things, okay, does not mean every single woman in the world is going to look at you and she's gonna be like, oh my God, take me right now. You dig? And she's she gonna bend down and, and pull her drawers down and say, take me right here, right? It does not mean that. It just means you're going to increase your chances, okay? I'm gonna get right into it. This is Tarek Talks. I am Tarek. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me, and I humbly appreciate that. All right, reason number one. This is the most important one, all right? Is your presentation. Your pre, well, actually, both, both of them are very important, okay? But the first one, your presentation, okay? Think of it like this, fellas. Um, it's like food. If you go to a restaurant and they just slop the food on a plate, you know what I'm saying? The bun is on this side and the patty is like halfway off and the tomato is all floppy. You know what I'm talking about? You know when tomatoes are like kind of saggy and soggy and the lettuce brown as hell? You'd be like, ugh, this burger looks nasty as fuck. I'm not going to eat it, right? If you do eat it, it's going to be by force and you're not going to enjoy it. Think about yourself like that. Think about yourself as a Ruth Chris dish, okay? Or whatever fancy schmancy restaurant you can think of, right? You're a T-bone steak, you feel me? You need to look like a T-bone steak. Presentation is nice. You know, the uh, steak is, is nice and cooked to however preference, you feel me? The, you got the asparagus on the side, it's nice and cooked, and you got little drizzles of whatever the fuck they put on there, right? The presentation looks good. She's looking at you like a steak. She's looking at you like, like a, a piece of meat, you feel me? Not in a bad way though, you know what I'm saying? But she's looking at you like, mm, look at this, look at this beefcake type of deal, okay? That's the same way you need to think of your presentation. You need to work on, and presentation is your style, it is your physique, of course. You already, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. You, your, your physique, okay? Like I said, style and, and your haircut, all of that is your is your presentation. If you walk out, you look like you just rolled out of bed, okay? Your, your clothes, your shirt got a jelly stain on it. You feel what I'm saying? Your hair like all matted up or that bitch all type of, type of ways and stuff like that. You look like Wilson from Castaway, okay? Or, or whatever Tom Hanks' name was. You look like him from Castaway. Your choosing signals are going to decrease tenfold. You are going to severely limit yourself, okay? You are going to hurt, be in your own way. So a way to improve it is, a first thing, first things first, hit the gym. This is the first, before I even start anything. Make sure your physique is in, in good shape. You do not have to look like Brock Lesnar. You don't have to look like a GQ model. You don't have to look like a Vogue or a Jet. You know what I'm saying? Do they even still make Jet? I'm old as hell. But you don't have to look like a model, okay? You just have to be in very, you just have to be in good shape. Look like you actually care about your health. Your hairstyle, what hairstyle suits you, okay? Do you have the Justin Bieber type of deal? Do you have the Odell Beckham type type of shit, right? Do you have the the slick back hair? Whatever whatever the case is, make sure it is uh, nice and tidy. Even if you got long hair, try to see. It's it's a rule for me. No matter how much hair is on the top, have at least some kind of fade on the side, or have at least have it at least kind of lined up crispy. Okay. The lineup doesn't have to be like razor sharp fresh. Just, just have it kept, like, you know what I'm saying? Keep it up. Same thing with your beard. Have it trimmed up. You feel what I'm saying? Have, have some, kind of, some kind of grooming going on. It's extremely important. Whatever your hairstyle is, make sure it looks presentable. 
okay? Make sure it's not all matted up and all that good stuff like that. Clothes, make sure your clothes fit you nice. Once again, your physique, this is where your physique comes into play. You could wear a Target shirt and you'll look fly in it. You heard, you, you could, you, you could, you could, what, wear an uh, outfit completely from Target, maybe not the shoes, you know what I'm talking about? That's just my personal preference, right? I like my shoe, I like <laughs> I like rocking, you know, shoes from Aldo's or my Nikes, I'm an Air Max head, like Air Maxes, that's my shit forever, ever, right? But anyway, whatever it is, it make sure it's nice and crispy and your physique is going to do the work for you, okay? Make sure it's iron, make sure it's nice and clean, you know, make sure you smell good, have a good little fragrance, okay? Just make sure your presentation is good. You wanna look like a T-bone steak. You do not wanna look like a McDonald's, you feel me? You do not wanna look like a Wendy's faux for faux meal, okay? You wanna look like a, a nice T-bone, you wanna look like a Papa Do's dish, for those who know what Papa Do's is, right? You wanna look good. Second reason you're not getting much choosing signals from young ladies is because of your demeanor. Yes, it is because of your demeanor. Something about your demeanor is off-putting. Your vibes is somewhat off-putting, okay? Um, you are, And this is, I'm, I'm gonna use this as an example so you guys can know exactly what I'm talking about. You know when you walk in and you see a chick that's mean mugging for no reason, she got her nose in the air, you know what I'm saying? She looks like she's mad at the world. You don't want to talk to her, right? You're looking at her and you're like, uh, I think I'll pass. She just she just looks she look she looks very miserable, right? She just looks like she has a shitty attitude. And don't get it twisted, fellas. You're not gonna be in this happy spunky mood all the time you feel me you're not gonna be all chipper and oh my god the world is so beautiful you're not gonna be all that all the time but i'm just saying for the most part especially when you're out and about you want to have a, an open you know you want to have an open demeanor about you okay just open just walking cool good eye contact make sure you're making good eye contact you feel me hey how you doing just a simple simple shit like that Okay, like I said, going back to the to the young lady that looks like she hates her life, same thing applies to you guys. If you're walking around, your posture sucks, you look like you hate your life, you look like you're angry at the world, no one is going to want to talk to you, male or female, okay? Nobody is going to want to talk to you. So you have to improve your demeanor, your posture. Your posture is part of your demeanor, believe it or not. Have an open posture, you know what I'm saying? Have, have a nice upright back. Like I said, eye contact is extremely important. If a young lady is looking at you, you know, trust and believe if your vibe is positive, if you have that uplifted, you know, kind of uh, love life type of vibe, trust me, you are going to get choosing signals. Females will pick up on that. Young ladies will pick up on that. They will pick up on that and they will look at you and they are going to want to talk to you, right? As soon as they look at, like I said, this is the importance of eye contact. Why is eye contact important? Because it's it's the gateway to a conversation. Eye contact is the gateway to conversation. You know how they say weed is the gateway to other drugs? You feel what I'm saying? Which is questionable. But at the same time, I could kind of believe that because I have seen some people start off with weed and end up on some some crystal type of shit. That's that that was a little tangent. But eye contact is the gateway to a conversation. If you have good eye contact, you got once again, that's open body language. Your eyes are open, you feel me? Eyes are open, posture is open, you making good eye contact, she makes eye contact, bam, there you go. Hey, how you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good, blah, blah, blah. Well, how you enjoying yourself? You liking a vibe, you know what I'm saying? What you sipping on or whatever environment you're you're in. Right, if you're in a supermarket, what you what do you buy today? You know, are you cooking? Are you cooking something good tonight? You know, just start a little conversation like that. Another, that's the other thing too. Your demeanor when you talk, just be kind of free with it. Let yourself loose, okay? Be loose with the conversation. Don't be all stiff with it, okay? Don't be all stiff. Don't take life too serious, or don't take the conversation too seriously. 
okay? The main reason, and I'm guilty of this too, fellas, the main reason that we get all caught up is because we get trapped in our own mind. We're like, what do I say next? And what's the next pickup line? I cause, bro, I just have a normal conversation, bro. I swear to God, you do not need pickup. You do not need pickup lines. As long as, like I said, your presentation, your presentation does a lot of work for you. You know what I'm talking about? Your presentation does most of the work for you. So when she sees you and she likes what she, what she sees, the only thing you got to do is, like I said, open up a conversation with her and have your the conversation flowing. Have it just freely, just chop it up with her. Just chop it up with her about whatever the situation is going on. Bam. That's that, that's all conversation is. You do not you do not have to pull out these fancy uh pick up lines and stuff and you know at the, at the end of the conversation be like hey let me uh let me get your number you feel what i'm saying let me get your let me get your number i, I want to hang out sometime bam that's how you seal the deal the, seal the deal with that by showing intent at the end so yes you're having a ca casual combo you chopping chopping it up with her casually at the same time though at the end you seal the deal you're like hey let me get your number i like to have a drink with you or i like to you know hang out with you whatever your preference is you feel what i'm saying bam that's it right there so i hope this video helped man it should help y'all out a bit i hope it does um let me know if it helped in the comment section peace